All right, Jeremy here, Jeeps Unlimited, 303-666-9020, partsbreakers.com. Jeeps Unlimited, as you've probably heard if you've watched these videos before, is our legacy name. Um, the sign on the building is still that. Uh, it got changed around 2022 on the national level just because Fiat Jeep didn't like us using the name. So I'm not going to go into that very much for legality reasons. But nonetheless, we still hold kind of a both profile out there. And I guess they don't really care. We haven't got any letters from them. So anyway, um, listing a 03 to 06 black tub. Um, as a lot of times you'll see or hear in these videos, um, you'll hear me kind of address maybe a particular customer um, that's not to discount anybody else. And by all means, you can always call. Um, they don't, doesn't mean this one's gonna sell, but usually we have a somebody looking for something in particular. Uh, in this case, it was just black. Although um, I know we talked and just something in good shape would be okay as well. So I will show you um, this one in detail and then I will walk quickly around. I got to wash another frame. Actually, I want to show you this frame too. Um, and I know you ordered a frame. Uh, I just happen to have an 03 to 06 six cylinder frame. It's a really nice shape. So, so without further ado, I'll go through it. I'm going to try to show it as if I was, um, if you were standing here next to me, I actually did this earlier already. And um, I somehow corrupted the video on my other iPhone. I have two iPhones. Why? I don't know. Makes life way more complicated. It's supposed to use it, make it easier. Uh, personal one work, and that never ends up happening. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to actually change that when this new iPhone hopefully comes out or, or maybe even ditch it and go back to a Android. But that's neither here nor there. Um, so what are we looking at and what do we want to show you? So obviously we're looking at a tub, 03 to 06, like I said. There's some changes on the early ones, 9701, and then 02 is kind of on its own. You can use these 9706. Matter of fact, we used to list them 9706, but it's better to at least list them as they, as they bolt on perfectly. And then if you decide later, hey, it's not a big deal, which it's not, especially if you're decent around tools. Um, I would say the firewall is actually probably the easiest if you were using this one on an early one, which is not the case in this particular customer but in that case because you can easily cut out and even we're actually going to be doing the opposite for a customer on this delivery trip actually um, he was really wanting a white tub and it was like hen's teeth finding a nice clean early white tub so found an 02 02's got the firewall that the 03 to 06 has um, that one we actually have to patch panel up it's that one we're going to use and uh, the tub that he picked out is up there why didn't we use that one well, that one didn't pass the, the coveted parts breakers test, I guess you could say. And that's really what I wanna show you here now, okay? So I'm not gonna go into the key differences on those. I, I told you a little bit on that. There's, there's a video I have out there on YouTube um, talking about TJ comparison videos, and it really does go into what the differences are, not only just bolt on, but structurally as well, because there were a little bit of differences on that. As far as bolting to the frame, they are identical. They'll bolt on the same exact holes, tops, windshield frames, all that. There's some differences on windshield frames, but as far as how they work, they're the same. So the main things on the bottom of a tub are this side, and I'll put it down here. So matter of fact, let's do it this way so you can get a good side shot. Let's talk about the bottom first here and the firewall because it's easier to see as well. So the firewall is obviously perfect. There's not a spot of rust on this. And when I clean these, oh my guys did this and I didn't wash it, I will off all these guys just because you never know. So normally pinch welds like this, if you're gonna have rust, they're gonna build up here. And that's where it starts and then it kind of deteriorates from there. Clearly there's none here. And this one is absolutely beautiful. Other places you'll see it, windshield frame, obviously perfect. Occasionally you get oxidation here. Oxidation's okay, layering, scaling, surface rust especially when you get integrity issues, that's a problem. This top piece, again, I'll show you this more in depth, but that's beautiful as well. Not only is it, I mean, look at, I always like to point out, and not that it matters, they'll be covered up, but when you go to put, you know, when you go to put some of this stuff back on, so got a little ding there, you can kind of beveled up there, so this will have a little discount on it. Um, and I always like to show that, uh, from this angle is a great angle, you can't really see it at all angles. You can see it right there though. And then this has also got, again, we may not be able to see this when we put it down, but it's got a ding here. 
and that's wetness, mainly water. These are actually factory, you can kind of see them. That's where they spot well this thing. This is all nice and clean. And I'll show you the other side as well. That corner is beautiful. Lower rocker, absolutely beautiful. And then again, we'll turn it over and show you that in the floor here. Say, so this has been out a little bit, but this is just probably from storing it on the ground. The skirting is actually really clean. Got a little dirt in there. You can get the washer, the look at the corners of this thing. Absolutely cherry. The fender wells. Again, if you assume there's a couple little holes there, I'll show you anything like this on them because obviously, again, these are there. Videos are here to make you, well, to allow you, I should say, see this tub as if you're standing here right next to me. Um, and I want you to comb it over just like I am, okay? So all the seams, again, these are nice, clean here, but oftentimes you'll see a little bit's okay. Obviously, if you start seeing it here though, uh, I'm not saying it's okay, I've just, you know, normally it, these are a little harder to get into and clean. You can coat them with paint, but again, unless you neutralize that, it's gonna continue to wallow or get itself out, okay? And then the other main, Again, pre, uh, key ingredient for us, whether it passes, and actually why that why that white one failed is these what I call torque pockets, and they're fairly extensive on a TJ, a little different on the older ones, but you can see lots and lots of spot welds, okay, this whole channel. If you were to cut these out and replace them, which we actually sell occasionally, um, this is a big job, and the main reason it's a big job is you can cut all these and still hang out places. If you decide just to hack it out, you're gonna have the floor, the floor's gonna do it, come out as well. Um, it, it takes a lot of time to do these. Now, there are body shops that charge by the hour, obviously most of them do. And usually when we sell these, they're they're going to a body shop. And I'm sure they're getting quite a bit to do that. Um, typically when the customer finds out that they could have bought a tub for half of what the quoted swap price of that is, they end up going you know, that route if it's available. Uh, or you know whatnot. So anyway, that's important. So we got we're gonna have ten. We're gonna count them off here. Okay, and nice clean threads at your front. This is your driver's side. Remember that. So one, two, three. Okay, and then we got four, five, and six. Now I didn't really show you anything here. There's really nothing to show. There's no cracking, no rust, no collapsing. These things love to rust, crack, whatever you want to call it, and they fully collapse and then you can't use them anymore um, or you have to get in you have to cut into them and this is a completely boxed area there's no access to these things um, and it just starts hodgepodging them together unfortunately when you get into issues here so we're at six and we got seven these move around they're supposed to eight okay also beautiful nice clean channels and all these supports back here are beautiful and then our last two nine Again, nice clean box area back here and 10. Again, these ones float. Um, and then you do have 11 total, but that's up on your radiator support. So we won't go over that one here because it's not there, obviously. Um, on that note, just as an FYI, for anybody looking for front clips, front fenders, um, hoods, grills, it's those parts, especially fenders, good quality OEM fenders are hard to get. They do bring a premium, but they are hard to ship. So if you're looking for tubs, or you're looking at a tub, and you happen to need a set of fenders, usually uh, we'll work out a deal where you get some nice fenders with them. Um, obviously, they cost more, but their weight, we don't have to pay for the shipping. You don't have to pay for the shipping, and that's a total pain. We usually give you a value credit as far as that goes, just because it's hard for us to do them too. A couple extra things on this guy that's not normally gonna be around. Hole and hole, these are not factory. These were probably put in for steps. Let's see if there's anything else on this guy. Nothing looks factory. So they might have had a slider set up on it. They might have had a step here. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. Um, and I didn't pull the chair of this guy apart. One of my guys did. So it may have been nothing. It might have been before we even got it. So does it matter? Probably not. I mean, there's a couple rocks in there for you. But nonetheless, again, fine tooth comb. Whether you see it now, then wonder what later what was there. It's not factory, so if you try to figure it out, your guess is as good as mine. And exactly the same on this one. This one actually looks like it's a little bit raised out, so maybe when they pulled it out, they were wiggling it, pulled on it. Who knows? It's hard to say. But right there, way far away from your torque pocket. But nonetheless, stuff like this, 
and like that ding I showed you up at the front up on the um, uh, that and then a couple of them on the lower rocker there if you don't want to mess with it totally fine I get it and this is a big job last thing you want to do is be chasing your tail but if you do want to mess with it we compensate the the price quite a bit down with issues now Will it still get rated as a grade A? Yeah, it probably is an A minus, is my guess, and I'll have to grade it as I get totally done with the, the uh, video here. But nonetheless, even an A minus to an A plus, you're looking at a substantial, you know, 500 plus uh, dollar discount, which is enough to buy, you know, got more stuff if you need it. Obviously, that was what we love, but that's not always the case. Sometimes just the budget to get it underneath is all you need on it, and um, if we can meet that for you, we definitely will. All right, so we're good to go here. My boy is going to be up here chatting our ears off here and saying he's four. And let's see where he is. So he lives at the junkyard with me. No, we live at the house up the hill, but hey. That's baby. Oh, okay. Well, I got to finish this video, buddy, okay? Because it's going to be nighttime and I got to do two more videos. So, all right. Why'd you put I washed it. That's why there's water in it. Hang on, okay? I gotta flip it down. You just got here just in time, Junior. Yes, sir. Let's see if I, I'm gonna let you guys look at the sky here in a second. Just for a minute, let me flip it down here and then we'll look at the other side and the bottom, everything. So, because wood, that's great. It protects the side. So, um, a couple scratches on this side, might have even had one, we'll put it down, but it should clean up so pretty good, there might be a couple, one right there, that's probably something we just did, and a couple right there, okay, they're not deep, but they are through the paint, and then we have a little bit here, and just where it's kind of raised out here in this jam. Now, this, did ha this had a good set of doors sitting on it, and they open and close just fine. Why does that happen? It's hard to say. It has a little ding on the front. My guess is at some point, when we got it, it was actually running driving off the road. But with that beveled up on the driver's side like we've seen, it probably had a fender bender at one time. Even though we buy them with car faxes and stuff, it doesn't always say prove that you know, it didn't have something on it. So I've seen those get real kinked. That one's actually not bad. Um, and a little finesse and you can get that, you know, malleted back down. But it is something I want you to see. It's definitely not something I want you to get a surprise later. Um, this way it is actually nice. I don't see anything here. So it doesn't look like it was hit here. I don't think anyway. Maybe a little raise there. And again, if it's not something somebody wants to mess with, we do sell a lot of them that have little things. And sometimes they're, they're perfectly fine. So why else could that, if it's been wheeled in, and this Jeep had a lift, so it could have been that. They just, just like an old Mustang Fox body, get on them and they kind of twist a little bit. But the good news on this guy, as you've seen earlier, and I showed you the bottom, the torque pockets are all straight on. If they've been hit real hard, or they buckle a tub ever, you'll know because it usually bends that pocket just slightly. And it's same on the frame. And I'm gonna show you the frame here in a minute, which is normally one sells before the other and we don't have the privilege to see that. I'm gonna have that washed and listed here in a second, so you'll see it on its, on its own. But nonetheless, let's just keep going on the tub. So good cowl, we talked about the firewall. Beautiful for the where the windshield frame bolts to it. I do have some clean windshield frames at the moment, um, if you need one of those. The other area I didn't mention earlier that's important, at least for me, is where the feet go for the roll bar. First, I wanna see that they're straight. These ones are. If it's ever been rolled, tipped on its side, anything like that, that's usually where you see damage and it usually is just depressed down slightly and, and starting to separate out around the, around the cornering. So 
There's nothing like that on these. These are actually perfectly fine. The other light area I like to show is this back uh, trunk space, whatever you want to call it. And this one is perfect, nice and clean straight. It's got a couple extra things that were probably mounted to it. I showed you there. There was also one there and maybe up there. Let's see if there's one up here. Yeah, down in here too. So maybe they had speakers or something mounted. But anyway, when you get them real wavy back here, they're usable. But it usually means they've been overloaded. They don't they don't do that very easily. But I have seen, and usually, I mean, this floor is really good shape, so it wasn't like they were hauling cement around. But I have seen them where people just load these things up, and that's the first thing that kind of gives in them. They kind of start buckling the little wavy. So that's really nice and clean. The other area is the front feet. A little oxidized, but there's absolutely no scaling in here. This is all nice and clean. You've got nice holes. You don't have to drill out anything. Both sides. Okay, floors are beautiful. Nice clean tunnel. It's not all beat up. Occasionally, if they ever break a drive shaft, you'll get, you know, again, not not the worst thing in the world, but it's nice having nice clean there. And then of course you got your floors, passenger side here, and then driver. Drivers kind of went through the paint there, but still absolutely beautiful. There's a little bit of that. Um, plug or whatever that somebody lifted probably to drain something both of those if you're going to ever be running one of these without a top especially if you have carpet in them pull those two okay there's the rubber plugs or the normal ones but you can pull these and you almost need to you can see how the drains work in these things if you don't and you run these with carpet especially if you're on the east coast midwest you're just asking for rust later you really need to get stuff to flow through that especially if you're running carpet but even if you're not running carpet i'd still say it's a good idea and they put a lot of them in so if you're going to be hard topping it i leave all that stuff alone put it all back in there um you know if you pull them ever and yeah, don't sweat it but go through a big river just remember that's where those are and for anybody looking gone through a river recently that's what you're going to want to pull hopefully you do it before you cross the river but if you don't you're going to be swimming you're going to have some water in here because this stuff that You'd be surprised how much of a fish tank this becomes without having that stuff removed. So, all right, well, I think that's it on this guy. I usually do about 20 minutes. So, and again, I'll get this uh, framed on here shortly, um, get it posted. And um, let's just real quick, because I, if we want to look at different tubs, that's not a problem. I have a couple that are all, uh, I haven't had a lot of TJs come in, unfortunately, uh, especially late. TJ's but that's an 02 so that's a 2002 I know we talked about and that one's almost done there's carpet in it still and this is an 02 so the difference on this and this from that one there and I go over it more in detail but the firewalls are the same so that's super easy the structure is almost the same the only thing different this one's actually kind of weird they cut out a hole in it so this will be way marked way down as long as it checks out everywhere else they, this is called the cheating way to replace a fuel pump and let me tell you, I hate seeing this, but I understand why people do it. It's not even cleanly done. I mean, it's awful. It is what it is. You know, we bought this. It had carpet in it. They even put the patch panel, taped it in there. It had duct tape on it. It was a bummer. I hate seeing cut tubs. I don't like seeing them rhino lined. I'd rather have them pretty unmolested. But like I said, this is overall a nice tub. This needs to be washed really bad, but this is going to be a clean tub other than that and it will be discounted heavily because of that um this has got the seat though that the 9702s run and uh it's easier to go i always tell you what's easier to go with this one is easier to go to the late it's harder to go to the early and the main reason is is because all you have to do is drill these ones are already done you have to drill two mount and you can nut insert them and then you'll have your seat in there for the 0306 style if you're going the other way you got to do it in the fender well and it's that area there that if you don't get it aligned right your seat won't mount these ones are pretty easy to mark them that one's a little harder not impossible but the other thing is you got to nut sort those and that's not beefed up in a tub that's not normally set up that way so this one's got a tailgate still so got a roll bar there's some pluses to do with this one um, i usually don't throw those in but again if, if it was something that helps somebody out um, the tailgates are the same as far as fitment but they are looking they do look different you'll notice the vent is missing i'll tell you why in a second if you have an 04 or later you're going to have different tailgates you'll probably have plastic covers over them uh, roll bars are the same so that didn't change and then the windshield frames themselves same except for one thing 
these ones, the early ones, did not get the plastic kind of blown trim in them. And the visors are different too, but virtually they look identical. They're look out here identical. It's just the inside for that trim. So you don't care about that stuff. You can use an early on a late and vice versa. Um, and then on that note there, 03 to 06, the reason there's no, um, or there's a vent there versus not on the early, because on the hard tops, and if you don't have a hard top, it won't matter, but on the hard tops, if you notice your hard top, if you have a late, it's an original hard top for it, it will have no vents in it. There's no side vents down the corners. I don't have one out here to show you right now, but anyway. Um, and so what they did is they vented out the rear through the tailgate. So um, if you use this one, this tailgate on a later one, and you're running a hard top, it, you know, could it potentially get fuely? Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure there was a reason they put this in. There might be other reasons as well, but that's definitely one. It's almost better, again, to go from 03 to 06 tailgate on an early one and have more venting than vice versa. How well they vent, I have no idea. I mean, it's got a hole in it, so I assume it vents somewhat, but, okay. This is going to be an early. We got the fire, that's an easy one right there. So I would probably say, I mean, we definitely can look at some of those, but um, that purple one that just came in is early. This one is early, I believe. This one's, this one's is kind of a bummer. We got this from a local guy, molded. There's that bin there. That's a, see, that's a real bad one. It buckled pretty good there. Um, and he was wheeling in, I don't think he really cared, but he finally did it. One too many rolls and called it quits. So that's actually a nice frame. It's unfortunate, it was set up for long arm. So for a long arm guy, no big deal, but you gotta cut, you gotta cut, hang on buddy. You gotta cut um, your control arms. So where's Kira? Hey buddy. I know, I know, I know, but I'm running out of time and I'm talking too much. Okay, so again, this is a nice one. It's got some crap in it still. This should clean up real nice. Got nice torque pockets. I don't think there's anything on this thing, but we'll go through it a little closer if it's something you're interested in. And we do have a little time. Obviously, that one's ready to rock, um, but for the time frame that I'm leaving, um, I can easily get this one, that blue one, and maybe... I think that's it. I don't think we have any. There might be one up that's listed. Up at the house. This one I wanted to mention real quick because we talked about black. Um, I haven't had it listed yet, but again, this one is totally, it's got the different firewall and the different rear seat. It's on the week. Come on. Okay, hang on. Um, so you heard him, I got duties calling, but anyway, this is a nice one though. It's got a, maybe a little ding there, ding there. Again, I'll get up close and personal if it's something else you see out here. And then those two, again, there's another black one there. Uh, also early, and then red, also early. Um, so I got some early ones. Um, we've thinned out most of our late ones. I think that black one we just did might be my only one left. Dang, I was... Huh. I feel like there ought to be one more out here. But... It's not. I'll double check. There might be one. I might have a yellow one that I put up still up there. We have an upper lot up there, and I'm trying to relocate all our tubs up there, frames, so they're a little bit more protected out of the way up there. So I'll look up there. I might have a yellow one. Not that you want yellow, but that one, it would, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is an 04. And I think that one's really clean, too. So um, not that you want yellow, like I said. And, it, and remember, the interiors are painted the same color as the exterior. So... Yes, it requires a little bit more paint unless you want to roll around with like a bumblebee look, which I guess isn't the end of the world. It's not Christmas at least, so if there's anything wrong with Christmas, I just wouldn't want a red and green Jeep rolling around. So, all right, cool. So that's it out there. You can kind of see a layout of our yard. Um, seven acres, really try to pride ourselves on rust free and you get a uh, free commentator here. So thank you so much and I appreciate the time it's gonna to take to upload this video on Starlink today. And uh, we'll go from there.